All right, friends, I enjoyed looking at the Klaus Oldenburg uh, pieces. Now we're gonna make our own Klaus Oldenburg sandwich, kind of a silly sandwich, not a sculpture, but a silly sandwich. And I'm going to start by folding my paper in half. So I'm taking the top edge and I'm bringing it all the way down to the bottom edge. And I'm, then I'm gonna run my finger along the edge here. Then I want you to hold up the video. I'm going to pause the video until I see that everyone is ready to go. Good. Now I'm going to take this top, this top piece here, this one here, and I'm going to fold it up so it touches the top of my paper there. And I'm going to bring my finger down and press it along that edge so that I have um, my piece of paper folded like that. I'm going to pause my video until I see everyone's is folded correctly. Okay, good. Now we are gonna be making um, a silly sandwich here and I'm gonna start with my top bun. So to make my top bun, I'm gonna make kind of a curved sort of rainbow line all the way across my page like that. And you notice I made it really big. Okay, and when I'm done with that line, I'm gonna make just a little curve on the bottom. It doesn't need to be as big. And that will be my top bun of my sandwich. Now I'm gonna do some little seeds on the top of my bun. So I'm gonna draw little tiny teardrops or raindrops up here at the top. And I'm gonna decorate the whole top of my bun with some good teardrop or raindrop shapes. Maybe one more. Up to you on how many you want to draw. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom of my page and I'm going to draw an oval, but I'm not going to draw the whole thing. I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to draw a nice curved line over. This is going to make my plate. And then on top of that plate, I'm going to do one little diagonal line that goes up like this. And on the other side, I'm going to do a diagonal line that goes up like that. And I'm going to draw a curved line to take me over. And a curved line to take me over. And that is the bottom of my bun. All right. Once you have your top bun and your bottom bun, pause until everyone has their top bun and bottom bun. Now I'm gonna work on some lettuce. So I'm gonna do another diagonal line, a diagonal line that goes um, down, and a diagonal line on the other side that goes down. This is gonna make me some lettuce up here. And I'm gonna make a wavy line that goes across and touches those two sides. And I can draw little lines inside of here to show the lines of my lettuce. Excellent. And now I'm gonna draw a great big burger right there. I'm gonna draw a curved line that goes right off over top of that fold and a curved line that goes right over top of that fold. Please make sure that you went over top of that fold. This is my first burger. Man, that is a big burger, isn't it, friends? And after you did those first two lines, I'm gonna draw a line, a horizontal line that goes across there. And this will be one of my um, buns. And now I'm going to draw a tomato. But first, hold up your paper so I can make sure that your first um, burger goes right over that edge right there. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a nice little oval shape and you see I can't see the top of my oval because it goes underneath my burger. And I'm gonna draw one vertical, two vertical, and then I'm gonna connect those together with a curved line. Okay, and then on the inside here, I'm gonna make some little kind of um, raindrop shapes again. Raindrop, but these are much bigger. This one is actually gonna go underneath so I won't see the top of my raindrop. Raindrop, 
two, three. It's probably pretty good. And this is my tomato, and I might put some seeds in here. Circle, 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 circle. You decide how many seeds you want. Okay. And then on the bottom, I might make some ketchup. So I'm going to do kind of a curvy line for this ketchup here. And maybe that ketchup is feeling kind of drippy, so I might put a big drip right there. And if I want to, I could take my eraser and erase where it dripped over the side there. If you don't like ketchup, could, this could be mustard or it could be mayonnaise or something else delicious. And maybe I'm going to make myself some little pickles in here. So I'm going to make little oval. Oval. Let me do one more. Oval. And I'm going to do that again. Go right around them. Uh-oh, this one I don't have room, so I'm going to go under and then just put a curve in right there. One more here. Okay, so now I have some green pickles. All right, this is my burger, and if anybody sees that, they're going to say, mmm, what a nice burger that is. But what you're going to do now, friends, is you are going to trick them. So when you are ready to trick them, when you have all your burger drawn, go ahead and stop. Raise your hand so I know you're ready to move on. Okay, it looks like everyone has their hand raised, so we're ready to move on. Now, here's the tricky part, ready? I am gonna unfold this paper and look at all the space I have to draw everything else. The first thing I need to do is come up to this burger piece and I need to go right underneath my curve there and just draw a line for the bottom of that burger piece. And then I need to go down to the bottom here and go over top of where I curved it. Just go up just a little bit higher on both sides and can draw a line there. And that will give you two burgers. But now I can fill in with whatever delicious things. I want you to use your imagination and whatever delicious or silly things that you would like on your burger. Maybe I want some bacon, so I'm going to draw one line. And then under here, I'm going to draw two lines, and those lines are kind of curvy. And underneath that, I'm going to put another piece of bacon. And then I'm going to draw myself a curvy line. Wavy line, wavy line for some bacon. Maybe I want some cheese, so I'm going to do a nice big curvy rectangle there of some cheese. And maybe this is Swiss cheese, so I'm going to put some holes in it. Do you have to have Swiss cheese? No, if you don't like Swiss cheese, you don't need Swiss cheese. You can do any kind of cheese you want, friends. Maybe I really like to eat mushrooms on my burger. So I'm going to draw myself some great mushrooms underneath here. And mushrooms are kind of ovals with a stem. You could draw whatever kind of things you want on your burger that you would like on your silly sandwich. Maybe you want some ham. Maybe you want some cheese. Maybe you want some bell peppers. Maybe you want something silly. I saw a student in another class who decided to put a fish on his on his um, sandwich, which I thought was so funny. So if you want to do a little fishy fish, that would be kind of funny. Do you have to do a fish? No. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of time to work on finishing up your sandwich. I'm going to work on mine, and then when we're all done, I'll let you know what the next step is.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. And when you're all done, go ahead and raise your hand so I know you're ready for the next step. The last step today is going to be to outline in crayon. We are going to be painting these when we um, come back. So I don't want you to color it in. I'm just going to take my crayon and I'm going to outline every single line. So my bun is brown, so I'm going to outline my bun with my brown crayon. My lettuce is green. So I'm gonna outline my green with my green crayon. This will give me good spaces to paint in. You'll see I'm not coloring in. I am only tracing my lines so that I have spaces to, co uh, to color. My burger is kind of a brown color, so I'm gonna do a nice brown color for my burger. My bacon is kind of reddish brown. Let's see if we can find a reddish brown. There we go, reddish brown. So I'm gonna do a nice reddish brown for my, for my bacon here. So I'm gonna do a nice reddish brown for that one. And you're gonna trace all of your lines so that the next time I see you, you will be ready to paint your sandwiches, okay? All right, friends. Go ahead and get started with your tracing. If you need some help, please raise your hand. 